gente tá aqui com o Felipe do Charma, produtor de Assassin's Creed 3. How are you doing, man? I'm doing great. How are you doing? Ah, oh, fine, thank you. How is it for you guys to uh, build a whole new character and a whole new story from the ground up? Well, it's actually a great challenge, but it's uh, it's also something that's very motivating to do. Uh, we started on Assassin's Creed 3 three years ago, as soon as Assassin's Creed 2 ended, and, and and we've been working with the setting, with the American Revolution, right from the start. We knew that this is what what we wanted to do. We knew that it was a key theme that really had a lot of uh, of. Uh, history and meat for us to, to visit and, and a key setting for the American Revolution. What is the basic storyline for this new game? So basically we meet a new character, Connor, who's half Native American, half British, and the story takes place with him at the center of it uh, over 30 years, so before, during and after the American Revolution. Uh, basically Connor lives in, the, uh, in uh, his, his village in the frontier. He's part of a Native American community and, and, and when he's a kid his village gets attacked and, and uh, basically the village gets burnt and he's trying to find a way to be able to fight back, to, 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 to be able to uh, have vengeance and protect his people. So, so throughout his story he's trying to find people that can help him uh, and to do so and he will meet someone that's called Achilles. Uh, Achilles li lives uh, on the homestead, it's uh, kind of a, a retreat place uh, next to the eastern coast uh, of America. You will ask him to train him to become an assassin, to become someone that can help the people and fight for the people. Now, uh, speaking of uh, gameplay and mechanics, can we expect uh, something new? Well, obviously, there's a lot of new additions. Like I said, we've been working on it for three years. So we rebuilt from the ground up some of the core systems of Assassin's Creed. Uh, we've completely changed our navigation system to support a fully organic, much more fluid uh, free running and climbing. Uh, we've changed completely the fighting system as well to be able to support faster and, and better combos, a better fighting system with the counters and use of the tools. And we've also added some key new gameplay ingredients, such as a naval battle uh, that plays a core part of the American Revolution, and a lot of other features that, that you guys will be able to experience very soon. Now, you guys are preparing a lot of uh, downloadable content. There will be a, a season pass, right? There will be a season pass available for Assassin's Creed 3. We've just announced it. It's a King George uh, DLC where it's kind of a fictionous world, like uh, an alternate reality where George Washington gets corrupted and, and he will uh, basically try to control the world as a king. So, so all of this fantasy is actually uh, really, really new for Assassin's Creed. It's uh, something that we've never delivered to the customers, a full-fledged DLC of three single episodes uh, that continues the story. You know that uh, Assassin's Creed franchise is a, a really big seller down here in Brazil? Well, the fans in Brazil are, are tremendous for AC. Uh, they've actually, it, it's the biggest Facebook page in the world, uh, the Facebook page for Brazil. There's over 1.2 million people that are fans. So, so the, the, the guy that's responsible for Brazil in South America was called Bertrand in Ubisoft. Uh, he's doing a great job to promote you guys and to inform uh, the team in Montreal uh, about the passion that the guys have for, for AC. So, so that's why actually I'm down here, like Bertrand reached out to us and said like, hey, we're having the Brazilian game show. These guys are amazing. Do you really want to meet uh, one of the guys from the team? So I came here to get to be able to get them to meet you guys, and we, we love our fans. Like we love to be able to uh, interact with the people and meet and discuss with you guys. There will be a portable version for the PlayStation Vita. It, it, it's not like the, the same uh, console game, right? No, it's a completely uh, different iteration for the game. It's actually uh, uh, centers the first female assassin called Aveline. She lives in New Orleans. So Aveline is. Uh, it's a completely different storyline that's also tied to the American story, um, but it takes place a little bit later. There will be interactions with Connor as well uh, in the Vita version, so it's a full-fledged version uh, that uh, has been built by the guys in Bulgaria uh, in our Sofia studios, and they've made an amazing job. And for the season pass, uh, can uh, the player like buy the season pass just uh, from day one? The, uh, the players can buy the season pass for day one. Uh, that will give him access to all three uh, episodes. There will be a uh, Assassin's Creed 3 for the Wii U, right? And uh, what what new features are you bringing uh, to make use of the new gamepad? The Wii U gamepad will be able to support a bigger version of the map that you can access at any moment by just looking on, at it. Uh, basically, this helps you to be able to see further away from uh, the assassin the different escape routes. So when you're being chased, when you're having a conflict and you want to run away, 
uh, you get to see all the patrols on the map and be able to choose your route according to it. Uh, we've also added both weapon wheels uh, on the sides that you can quickly select and change weapons on the fire during combat or at any moment without pausing the game. So the challenges for a new platform is always uh, to, to basically understand the architecture, understand the way it works and be able to fully um, exploit the, 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 the machine that we have at our disposal. So, so we had a great team that's in Quebec that actually uh, developed the, the, uh, the Wii U game for, for us with, with collaboration with the Assassin's Creed team and they work on the features to find new game design possibilities with the gamepad. Speaking of uh, multiplayer features, what's new for this new game? So we've added a completely new feature during, uh, in our main multiplayer. Uh, basically, it, it's kind of a co-op feature where you, you're able to have uh, you and your friends you have an assassin target that, that appears on your screen and you have to try and, and figure out who your target is in the crowds and you have to try to coordinate your kills with, uh, with the different guys uh, in your team uh, by communicating and, and waiting and basically getting close to your, 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 your target without getting spotted. Uh, it's on a timer basis so you have to do it kind of fast but at the same time you have to, you have to wait and, and uh, basically assassinate all the, the people at the same time to gain the maximum number of points. Last one, like a personal question. Uh, what's your favorite Assassin's Creed game so far? So far, Assassin's Creed 3, but you guys will be able to test it really soon. No, <laughs> um, definitely, uh, I think Assassin's Creed 2 for me was a very full story that, that really improved on all the mechanics that we saw in the first Assassin's Creed. It was a, uh, a great setting. Uh, the, uh, the Renaissance for me has always been a passion, uh, passion uh, time. I, I love Italy. I love seeing. Uh, uh, Venice and for Firenze and be able to, to meet a new assassin such as Ezio. When is the game coming out and for which platforms? So the game comes out on October 30th for Xbox uh, PS3. Uh, it will also be available on the Wii U at launch and on PC later in November.